so I'm in LA with Sephora for the Sephora Squad welcome event. I just got here um, maybe like 10 minutes ago. I thought I'd give you guys a tour of the room. It's a very small room, very open concept and everything. Um, so not really much to see, but I thought I'd share with you anyways, cause why not? So, so I'm staying at the Line Hotel here in um, Los Angeles, um, it's in like Koreatown, like that kind of area, I believe. Just because I was looking up places to eat and there's a lot of like Korean restaurants around. Um, but this is the room, this is the first thing you see when you walk in. So it's like a lots of windows, lots of light, which we love. I just have like a view of like over the ceiling and there's a lot of construction happening in this area. Like there's a, cr is that a crane? Um, yeah, and just lots of like, thingy majigs. So the aesthetic of the hotel seems to be like very industrial, is that the term? Um, so you guys can see like from the lamp here and like the wall with the exposed cement. And then this is the bed. Okay, not my favorite hotel, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm, I'm just so grateful to be here that I don't even care. So yeah, this is the bed. And um, you know, this is kind of like your view. Well, not kind of, it is. Um, I guess this is gonna control, okay, good. I haven't wiped anything down yet. I just I just got here and the first thing I noticed when I walked in was our goodie bag um, From the team so we're gonna get into that in a bit um, My base travel bag that I don't leave home without and I also just always put my long chomp bag Don't mind these tissues. I'm still suffering from allergies if you guys didn't notice still sick cannot wait for it to be over um, but yeah, I have this bag here um, with my like, you know, like wallet, little things like that that I need really, really quickly. And then this just has my computer and things, which I'm gonna set up here because I do wanna do some work. But yeah, there's this long desk or end table, side table. And um, this is this wall it just has like these birds, the lamp shades again, they're orange. And then this is the bathroom. So it's like really romantic and just dim and and over here is just the sitting area um which is <laughs> very simple so yeah it's just a chair and this lamp that i thought was broken but it's not it's meant to look like that it's meant to look like that and this artwork on the wall and um some feng shui items this like vintage looking chair and this poof and yeah that's it for the room so on to my goodie bag now. I'm actually so happy that I brought my, I brought a larger suitcase that does not have anything in it because I'm a person that packs really light. I can just travel with a carry-on no matter where I'm going or how many days I'm going for. Like I can pack everything in a carry-on. But I did bring this one because they told us to bring, make sure that we have extra room for some of our gifts. Um, first thing I saw when I opened this bag was a Dyson and what? I am so excited about that. I've always wanted one. Um, and then just like a bunch of like little goodies in here. Um, oh, I actually was so sad that I could not bring my pharmacy green clean. And there's another one in here. <laughs> wow. Okay. So there's that. And then there's this hoodie. Might even wear this tomorrow, to be honest. So yeah, this is basically what we have. I'm just gonna set this stuff over here for now and then charge my phone, look for some food, go eat before meeting up with the squad members for a shopping spree. Sephora gave us gift cards, so we're gonna- Hey guys, so I'm now at the bar at the hotel's restaurant. Um, just kind of grab a bite to eat before we had, um, the team and I head out to Sephora to go shopping. Um, it's called Open Air. It's actually the location we're gonna be having our dinner at later, so. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Um, anyways, I'm gonna just eat um, and then I have to meet everybody at 2 o'clock. So I have plenty of time. I'm pretty early. Um, yeah. So I wanted a burger and a Diet Coke.
at the hotel now. I stopped at the little coffee shop downstairs just to get some drinks. This is a, like a natural caffeine um, green tea based type of thing, which I really need because I'm so tired, you guys. And I just got like a little ginger shot, ginger and turmeric. But I really wanted to share with you guys what I got from Sephora because we need to get ready for dinner, which is in two hours. And knowing me, well, typical of me to forget something, but that's all right because Sephora treated us today. I actually claimed this glow recipe thing for my birthday month. Um, it's just the, you know, I'm sure you guys are familiar, but it's the glow recipe watermelon glow, P-H-A-B-H-A, -H -A -H -A, and then the niacinamide drops. Um, I got another foundation brush. I feel like I always get asked what foundation brush I use. It's the number 56. The one I have, the number, um, is no longer on it because it's old. So I can never tell you guys which I use, but now I know. It's this one, and I love it so much. So it's the number 56. I re-upped on my NARS foundation because, to be honest, no matter how many different foundations I try, I always come back home. I always come back. So I just got my NARS Natural Radiant, and this is in the shade New Caledonia. So I have those for today. Um, Emmy um, filmed a TikTok, or I think like a reel the other day, and she did this lip combo. And if you're watching, fire, I had to go and get it, everything. So she used the one size lip liner in the shade Coin Collector, love that name. And it's just a brown, like a brown shade. Stunning, stunning. Love that. And then she used, I believe, what did she use next? I believe she used the Buxom lip gloss. And you guys know I love Hebuxom. I use Dolly a lot, but she used a shade called White Russian, which is like a sparkly pink, it looks like. And I'm just gonna put it like on my. Sorry, my hands are so like mark up, mark up like battle wounds. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's a very nudie pink, which I think is gonna look so nice. And then she topped it off with the Ami Cole, um lip oil thingy called Excellence. And that's such a beautiful brown. So I'm just really excited for this combo. It looks so great on her. And this is the Amicole lip. Oh, that's actually really beautiful. Do you see that? So she used all these, um, these three together. Beautiful. I can't wait to try it out. Very excited. And finally, I have this Danessa Myrix Beauty. It's my first product from her line. I saw Amina Please. <laughs> I'm grabbing this. And I was just like, wow, that's actually pretty. So I swatched it. I decided to get it because I don't really have blushes in these kind of shades. And I just think they actually swatched it earlier. I blended it out. It looks very muted there, but it's actually like a really... But what really sold me though is the formula. It's like a velvety... Mm, I don't know if that's the right word. But you guys can look closely. So it's like... I love that it's not a liquid because liquid blushes can be really tricky. And I love that it's also not like a heavy cream, you know? It's very velvety, smooth, and extremely blendable. That's what I love about it. So I'm excited about this. But yeah, that's all I got from Sephora. And I am going to shower and get ready now. I'm so excited for tonight. Um, outfit's still up in the air. But I think I'm gonna wear one of the outfits that I just posted in a reel just now. I brought them all, <laughs> so. Okay, I'm yeah. all showered and clean in my little roby robe. I also had to relay my wig on at the things because when I hit that shower just now, you guys, I was like swimming, okay? I was like, <laughs> no, but I really needed a good bathe. And you, usually when I come off a plane and I get to like my destination, I bathe immediately. But because my schedule was so back to back, like I had to come, I was so hungry, had to eat. Then we went to the Sephora store to do some shopping. I'm gonna put some stories on the screen because I wasn't able to vlog in there because my camera, you guys, the viewfinder has completely fallen off. Right now you're attached with a hair tie. Like a scrunchie is what's holding the viewfinder up. The lens still works and it captures the content. So I'm like spitting everywhere. 
sorry, gross. Um, but it's, um, I can't see myself and I never know if I'm in frame or not. So I had to find a solution. Gratefully, this worked. Anyways, I'm gonna try to find my, I'm trying to find, find my tripod because I wanna get some, okay, I found it. I thought I left this at home. I never leave my content creation tools. I love this one because it folds up really, really small. Fits into your luggage or your carry-on, anything. And I love it. And you know, it gets really, really tall. I'm gonna put my phone in here really quickly. I'm gonna continue to charge my, this thing. I didn't, I didn't bring like my fancy cameras to take content with. So I figured I would just use my phone. I don't know what kind of content I'm, I'm creating, what I'm even going for. So kind of just shooting everything to be honest. That way when I get to editing, we have a little bit of everything to work with. I'm gonna be ironing my clothes. Oh, this open. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Fancy. Outlet. Hold on. Pause. I'm just ironing my clothes ahead of time. So once I'm done with my makeup, I can just jump into the clothing. However, I'm very afraid of burning. I don't really iron a lot. I'm more of a just buy clothes that don't need to be ironed kind of person. I'm gonna have this piece in my closet for a while, even though it's a very statement piece and I'm probably gonna wear it once or maybe twice. I'm definitely gonna have it dry cleaned. I'm gonna keep it in like a garment bag and I'm gonna add this to like my archive <laughs> of clothing that I wore on very like important moments in my life. I wanna start doing that, you know, like buying extravagant or like nicer clothing pieces for like milestones and then just wear them for that event and it'll just be the piece for that event, you know? I'm gonna start doing that. I think that's such a great idea. And also give me an uh, uh, excuse to just buy nice clothes. And also this is not like a designer item. It's like obviously like a custom made piece from like a really good designer. I believe they're based in Nigeria, which also is the new, is the new key to like my wardrobe. I'm gonna start getting my clothes from Nigeria or like designers based overseas because I just feel like the quality, it's unique, it's one of a kind. And you know, I'd rather give my money to a company like that anyways. All right, I think we're good with this. I'm just gonna hang it up and it looks really nice. Okay, cool, cute. The pants don't really need to be ironed, but I kind of love that the iron just brought out more cleaner look the pants are pretty much fine i brought them to the tailor to hem so they're pretty i think i think they ironed it there which is nice because i think i paid 17 dollars, which is so inexpensive and they did all of that all right we're good i'm not gonna force it
thought, shit, if I can help other people um, use the communities that they build to do jobs that they love, to do something with their life that gives them purpose, uh, that makes them happy, that provides for their lifestyle, that makes them rich, hopefully, um, <laughs> then that would be a pretty good way to spend my life. And, you know, we have hundreds of clients, we have paid influencers hundreds of millions of dollars. Sephora is, I'm not just saying that to the here, uh, absolutely our best clients. This is the premier influencer program in this yeah, it, it, it is what you make of it, so I encourage everybody to throw your whole self into it, to make everything you can of it, and while we would love to hear from all of you, we'll put this music on, the bar is open, the food is coming out. Thank you all so much. Everyone's so excited. We're excited to meet everyone. Thank you. Birthday season. Let's go call me for my birthday, guys. Hey guys. <laughs> guys, it's the next day, and today's actually my my birthday. Um, I took a little bite of my cake. Um, I don't really like frosting or buttercream or anything, so I didn't really eat much of it. I just wanted to taste it. You know, it's my birthday after all. Um, yesterday was so cute at the Sephora dinner. Um, I did put um iPhone clips in it. I don't. Know, ugh, I did not vlog. I left my vlogging camera because I was running late. I should have just came back down and grabbed it. I really should have, but I didn't, didn't want to be rude and just like left the event when it was. You know, I feel like every time. Every every second everything was like accounted for also don't mind my hair I lifted the sides because I wanted to re-glue it. I'm so obsessed with this hair um, Obsessed with it. Don't watch me now though like don't watch me now <laughs> But um, I'm waiting for my breakfast to come. I ordered breakfast room service um, I'm hoping that it gets here by like soon, but either way I'm gonna start getting ready for the day. I'm gonna be wearing I'm going to be wearing the pink set today. Everyone seems to be dressing up, so I'm going to as well. I left my makeup laid out yesterday, so everything's pretty much here. And I also just found this random cup to put my makeup brushes in. Because yesterday, trying to get my makeup brushes out of this thing while doing my makeup was actually so annoying. Listen, this bathroom lighting is actually awful. Please forgive me if it turns really, really yellow. Um, hold on. It's like really, really bad. But I have the Ebon spray on my sideburns. Um, I put it on my hair. You should never put any kind of like wig glue adhesive on your hair at all. It should go on your skin, just because it can be very bad for you. It can be very bad. It will literally rip your edges out. However, I don't have that issue with um the Ebon spray. Like it, it comes off like when you wash it. You can definitely just wash it. Like when you wash your face, you're gonna notice that it come it lifts anyway. But yeah, I'm definitely going to order more of this hair. I don't care. I'm gonna be ordering a lot more of this hair. In fact, in fact, I'm gonna order another one just to kind of have in my collection. I won't do anything to it yet until I need to, but I just don't ever want to be without this hair. Like it's so good. I don't have to cut it, it's already layered. It's already pre-plucked. The, the scalp is giving skin. Scalp is giving skin. And everything about it is just so nice. <laughs> so my mom sent me the most amazing birthday message. She said, happy birthday, my love. Today, I celebrate with you. What a blessing you are from day one to now. Your bright, shining eyes were a sign that you would have access to the world. 
You would go places in uncharted spaces others haven't even been. You would experience love others haven't experienced, that you would have foresight to know what to do. So I thank God today that you did not do it in your strength, but only through a God who loves you unconditionally. Love you today and always call you soon after my prayer line. She's like a prayer thing in the mornings. Tell your story sometime about a mother who was undocumented and worked as a babysitter day and night with small kids to raise. But when I came to ask her for a camera, she did not say to me, we want that far. She said, okay, I'm gonna save towards it. That's like, that was like the beginning. You know what I mean? That was like the beginning of everything. I bought that Canon T6i and that's what I used to kind of do YouTube like way back when. But obviously those years were like really tough for me. Like I was depressed, I was considering just not being here anymore. Like really, I, I've, I've spoken about this before. I don't want to get into it too deep. But I was so depressed and anxious and didn't want to be here anymore. And I just was just ready to give up. I really had a long talk and look at myself in the mirror. And I basically, the gist of what I was saying was like, listen, you have to make changes in your life in order to see a different outcome. You have to change everything. It's been tough. You know, you move from a different country, you come here, you think like, your life's gonna change, life's gonna be better. This shit's hard. It's hard, but keep your eye on the prize because anything is possible. Literally anything is possible. Look at me, look at Octavia from Portland, Jamaica, like, look who's probably with it and with who. It's also the man above, but let me just say a quick prayer though, because I need to like. Lay... going and be consistent at it so you may not see the effort or you may not see the fruits of your effort in six months in one year but all those little points they add up big time right you didn't stop at a hundred followers you're like oh no, 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 keep going I'm not gonna stop at this one viral video I'm gonna keep going and you grow and you grow and you grow questions i want this to be fun i want this to be um interactive if you guys, again if you guys have any questions at any point just please let me know um so i went ahead and i did the eyes i did the skin the brows basically almost like, everything but i'm gonna show you three <laughs> i'm gonna show you three things that i think that will really change and elevate this look honestly everyone everyone is Everyone is so bored. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just go in stippling motions and just putting this just right into the hollows of the cheekbones. And you guys can see like, I like to go with the this side, this foot right onto the smile line. But yeah, that is the like, deal. Like, even, though, even though she came in with a full face, but like, she is transformed. Yeah. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, and I'll see you next time. guys i'm back from the sephora event today um i'm now in the hotel room i we booked a birthday dinner for me um tonight at i forgot the name of the restaurant but it's supposed to be really really nice it's um by rodeo so it should be really really cute we are exhausted but it is our final day here so i figured i'd make the best of it and go out to dinner because Although I'm tired, it is <laughs> mi cumpleaños. The good thing that I brought that extra luggage because we got so many things. We got things from Crown Affair and the Patrick Ta segment. This is a bag that they gave. I'm definitely going to use this as a purse. I love pouches like these. I've never been to a master class before, but I kind of feel like I need to start going. Like, I learned so much. Hi 
guys um so today is the final day here it's actually checkout day it's probably like seven right now um so i'm gonna head to the airport um shortly i am so tired you have zero idea I'm so tired my flight technically boards at 9 a.m so i was considering just running to the breakfast place here really quickly just to eat have a coffee then head out and I think I should. I'm just gonna look what time they wake up. Not wake up, they open. I am actually so tired though, like literally. Finished. I'd rather, I, I like to be at an airport like an hour before boarding so I can have time to check my bag. Well, whatever, I'm so tired. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to pull you guys back out in a bit. I just. Ooh, there is a cafe downstairs. I could do that. Put in some aquaphor on my face a little bit. Especially under my eyes. Wow, I am so sleepy. It's insane. You're gonna be okay, love. You're gonna be okay. Just need to grab a little coffee. It's, um, a ginger shot for sure. Some water. They did have some yummy burritos downstairs, so I might just get that. I love Aquaphor because it instantly just makes your skin look and feel so soft. So I'm going to do that. And um, yeah, this is the face. I brought my Aquaphor in this little thing because I don't leave my Aquaphor anywhere. I also ordered a new camera. Um, so when we get home, back, back to the house, we can like see the difference between this camera and that camera. So yeah. Heading out for real this time, so let's head downstairs, grab some breakfast, and head to the airport. Mm -hmm.